Welcome to a virtual Dell Music Lounge. Our thanks to Dell Technologies. Our lounge is presented by Wild Basin Hard Seltzer and supported by Torchy's Tacos and Clean Cause. This gentleman has performed for us in every configuration that we've recorded live performances over the years, even bright and early during multiple South by Southwest. There's almost nobody that could join us right now in the middle of a conversation about equity and justice more suited for that conversation than Steve Earle, and he's gracious enough to join us for this virtual Dell Music Lounge. Let's start with music and then we'll talk equity and justice. The new album's Ghosts of West Virginia. This is Steve Earle. Well, devil put the coal on the ground Devil put the coal on the ground Buried it deep, it'll never be found Devil put the coal on the ground Say that'll be a diamond someday That'll be a diamond someday You belong gone dead anyway And that'll be a diamond someday Well, the devil put the coal on the ground Devil put the coal on the ground Said the devil dog there in a parliament down Devil put the coal on the ground Same damn hole every day, I'll give her, then I take it away. Well, a devil with a coal on the ground, devil with a coal on the ground. Set a double dog there, get a file man down, devil put the coal on the ground. Dell Music Lounge. This record's the story of 29 men who died in an explosion in a coal mine in West Virginia. And reportedly, allegedly, this is your attempt to find common ground with some people who may not traditionally think the way you do. Um, yeah, or at least vote the way that I do. I don't think we think as differently as people um, as people uh, think. I mean, it's um, as people believe. Um, there are a lot of people that think completely differently than I do, but for the most part, it's it's it's, uh, it's more about what we feel. And you know, we we always talk about people voting their pocketbooks, but I'm not sure that's true. I think what we vote is our hearts and our livelihoods. And you know, most people are just trying to take care of their families. And I think we've reached a point where almost no one understands anybody that does that differently than they do that lives in another part of the country makes their living a different way you know i'm i'm i, I my politics haven't changed at all i'm uh, i'm somewhat to the left of mao zedong by most people's standards in this country and i'm uh, unapologetic about that but i also uh, understand that this is a right of center country and it always has been and um you know, it's it's benefited from socialism a lot of times in its history, whether it wants to admit it or not. And I, I just, uh, that part of the history I know really well, but I've never fooled myself about what it is. And it's also undemocratic 
to expect people in Missouri or or Michigan who don't have jobs anymore or in or in West Virginia where they which a lot of people would, would don't even realize that was the most unionized place in America later than any place else in the country and it's not a hard red state it was pretty purple for a long time they still have a democratic senator he's a centrist democratic senator but they still have one and you know that's the deal you just can't um you just can't it's not very democratic to assume that everybody uh, you know that everybody's life is just like yours and 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 try to cram political theory down people's throats because they don't care they care about how it affects their lives coal i think it's bad for the environment but it's the only way anybody has of making a living in west virginia anybody they see that has anything got it from the coal industry so that's why they feel the way that they do and and if you can't understand that look west virginia became the canary in the coal mine for me i was looking for a way to make this record and then Jessica Blank and Eric Jensen called me about coal country, and and it fell in my lap. And the idea could have been I could have picked out another place in the country, but musically West Virginia was perfect because I, you know, I, I the, the music that I play lends itself to telling this story. Plus Jessica and Eric had to go down there and interview everybody because that's what the show is based on. There's interviews with the survivors of Upper Big Branch, this mine that exploded, which means a couple of guys that were there and the families of the people that didn't make it, the 29 guys that didn't make it. And uh, and plus, I talk like this, so I would I, I came in handy on the the trips to West Virginia for the interviews. So. A couple of weeks ago, when you saw the George Floyd video, did you see it as a generational opportunity potentially to transform democracy? Initially, you know how I saw it as someone that was choked unconscious by a police officer in Dallas, Texas, in 1987 after a show at the Dallas Alley, and what I said was, "I can't breathe," because that's what you say. So that's what I initially saw. I've had that experience. The experience I haven't had is I've been sober for 25 years now and some change. So I don't look around me looking for cops anymore. I'm not scared of cops. But I don't think that's the experience of most African Americans in this country. So that's so part of this I know more about than 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 a lot of folks do just by accident and and, I, and and by the way that that incident in dallas i very nearly went to prison for it's the only felony i've ever been charged with was assaulting a police officer that night and it's the only thing i've ever been charged with that i was absolutely innocent and i didn't do anything the dallas police department just didn't pay out on excessive force claims in those days and they just decided they would you know get me to to um to, they'd rather send me to the penitentiary than lose a civil rights suit so that's what they did they lawyered up and we went to war it cost me a lot of money hundred thousand nineteen eighty seven dollars and you know to defend it finally a guy in the da's office had you know um had a little mercy on me and decided that you know he took the case over later and just decide just offered a plea bargaining offer and i figured out they were going to send me to jail you know that there were there was going to be no justice in any other way and uh, so I took a, I, I pled uh, to a misdemeanor, which was, which was uh, disorderly conduct, and and uh, and it ended after the whole ordeal ended after a year. But it was scary there. The joke was that David Crosby had been released, and they needed a rhythm guitar player in the band at Huntsville. That was that was what's going around the courthouse up there in Dallas. I mean, you know what it is to march. What social justice looks like when you see what's happening right now. Are you hopeful or is November going to be the only real indicator of success in this situation? Um, I, I think November is almost a separate issue. I, I think that's a, another malignancy that needs to be removed. This has been going on even before we, you know, elected an orangutan president of the United States. Um, you know, it shows we're, that, we're, that anybody can be president. We've absolutely proven that now. But um, I, uh, this has been going on for a long time, and every other time that it's come up, um, it's, it's where Bernie Sanders, I think the one mistake he made, and I supported him absolutely in the election cycle before this one, and uh, even joined the Democratic Party so I could vote for him in the primary, which I'd never done before. I always end up voting for the Democratic candidate, by the way. Don't waste your vote, folks. Do not waste your vote. Be realistic about what our p political system is, and because that's a lot of what got us in the trouble that we're in. People that didn't vote because they didn't want to get their hands dirty, they didn't like the candidate. And uh, but make sure you vote, vote for somebody, and then we, at least at least we know what we got. But I supported him 
But he did. I know where he lost the the Democratic nomination. It was at the moment where he decided he's somebody asked him about Black Lives Matters in particular, you know, the, those issues concerning excessive force by police departments. And, and he said, you know, it's not really about race. It's about class. And he was dead at that point with black voters because it's only it is about class, but only if you're white. And then it's about for anybody else of any other shade. It's about race. And it always has been. I don't quote Condoleezza Rice very often, but she said once that I believe I'm probably paraphrasing to some extent that we suffer from a birth defect in this country. The country itself suffers from a birth defect, which is slavery. And we're still dealing with it, and it's 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 slavery, stupid. You know that's that's the deal. That's what we're dealing with. And and uh, does it feel different? Yes, but I'm an optimistic guy. Um, being, and and I, and I also I'm wary of anybody coasting because I think that happened to a certain extent last time. I think, you know, the the video with the with the pee grabbing and all that stuff, you know, everybody went, oh, he's toast. I don't have to get my hands dirty voting against him. You know, I think that was a big one. And um, I thought I thought he was toast. You know, I did vote, but, but, I, but I thought he was toast. So I think they're kind of separate things. Um, how can we go on calling ourselves the leaders of the free world when people of color have to be terrified just going to the grocery store? Just this morning, you released a protest song, Times Like These. This is what Steve Earle does in these times, is release a protest song. I, well, Some I element mean, it, of it, it is preaching to the choir. On the this other one's hand, totally preaching to the choir. The, the record, the album, Ghost of West Virginia t- 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 is for the congregation. This is for the choir. But it's also, I think, it's something we can come together on. I wrote this song at the beginning of this nightmare, the Trump presidency, for Joan Baez to sing. And um, they, she was making a record with Joe Henry. They recorded it, but they left it off the record. So we recorded a version with the Dukes when we were making Ghosts of West Virginia. It will be my record store day single. It's in the can, the electric version. Uh, that'll come out on the seven inch. I, now I think it's coming in August, is because record store they got scuttled like like everything else. And um, but um, I just decided I needed this song out now, and I'd listened to the demo that I sent Joan, and I thought maybe for people to hear this, um, it was I, I when I made this decision was the day after the violence sort of um, calmed down a little bit, and I was impressed that people out there in the streets realized that they were that that violence would hurt them worse than anything else and this kind of protest only works if it stays nonviolent and they started policing it themselves pretty well and things kind of chilled out quite a bit so i was impressed and i uh, it was just what i could do and this is my job so this is uh i went into rick Kennedy studio and, and here I'm, I'm in Tennessee and have been since March 19th I miss New York really bad <laughs> when New York comes back I'm gonna go back this is times like these huh? times like these made me wanna get down my knees pray Someone help us please Find our way again Times like this When it looks as dark as it can get And I just want to give it up and quit I remember when We were marching on Washington Singing, we shall overcome. We had a dream, and the dream lives on, but we still got miles to go. In times like these, I look behind us and I can't believe how far we traveled and the web we weave. Two times like these. Like this, I can't ever wonder what we missed. Thought we finally had it made, now it's 
getting tough again But one fine day A change will come no matter what they say We might shed a tear along the way When we remember Gun trucks in the Belfast streets and the war they swore would never cease. They did say we would never see when they said Mandela free. And in times like these, can't see the forest for the trees. I heard it said that love is all you need. Times like these Times like these Made me wanna get down on my knees Someone help us please Do times like this Steve Burrow in our virtual Dell Music Lounge. Oh, how I wish that I could close this thing out by mentioning a tour date here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, here's, here's what I think is going to happen, and I really believe this with all my heart. I think it's going to be like Groundhog Day. I think there's a really good chance Cold Country will go back up in New York at least for a few weeks to complete some of our run. That's the intention of everybody involved. We don't know for sure that'll happen because that will be a, then this winter in the near future. But next May, I'm going to get rehearse in Nashville, get on the bus, and uh, we would have been in Texas last week. You know that was the plan. And uh, you know I don't know where we'll go first because it's a it's rebooking a whole tour. But you will see us next year playing. These songs from, from, from Ghosts of West Virginia and probably that song right there, too. Because, folks, the, the thing I'm optimistic about about this is it's still going on. People aren't letting it go. And we just need to rethink the way that we police. And that doesn't mean, you know, my personal opinion is we need police, but we don't. Nobody needs. Let's just, let's just imagine a world where the president of the United States, police officers, you know, nobody is above the law. That's what it's supposed to be in the first place. All right. Thank you, Steve Earle. Uh, this has been a virtual Dell Music Lounge. I want to thank our friends at Dell Technologies. Uh, our lounge is presented by Wild Bass and Hard Seltzer and supported by Torchy's Tacos and Clean Cause. Thank you again, and next time in person. <laughs>